Hi everybody, uh, Ryan back again uh, with my wife here today, uh, Sophia. Uh, we went out and picked a, just a little load I got uh, going up to Michigan, a couple stops, ice cream cones. Uh, so we stopped down here, got some fuel at the Petro here in uh, outside of Youngstown and uh, just wanted to do a short video on why I'm, gonna, I'm getting out of truck driving and I stress driving and I, I, I don't know if I'm going to get out of trucking completely. I, I'm thinking about keeping the truck, which I've discussed in other videos and uh, being and uh, putting somebody in it and uh, working out an agreement with somebody to, to stay on with Landstar and kind of run it as they want, I guess, or do what they want. Um, then I'll still be doing all the maintenance and all that. But uh, I know I've talked uh, a lot bits and pieces why I've been looking at leaving trucking or, or driving basically um, and it comes down to the, the main one is I got two younger boys right now one is uh will be five next January and the next one will be the the younger one is almost a year and a half um, so the the four-year-old I've been gone on the road for most of his life because the uh, the way that this is like mentally for me the only way I've been able to like make the keep up the the pace and all that and make the money I want to make and like keep my sanity is doing the longer haul stuff running at nights and all that and that when you're running that kind of uh, operation I guess you could say or that schedule I mean you're out of town for basically two weeks at a time sometimes three weeks um, if, if you want to make the bigger money you know running to California Oregon West Coast Washington all that stuff is you know what what's kind of been my bread and butter for the last few years since I've been in this um, because with the there's good money here I live in Northeast Ohio as most of you know here in Ohio Western PA Indiana Southern Michigan Kentucky Illinois this area I'm in right here in the Midwest or kind of the Eastern Midwest is really a good area for short haul stuff and I've been doing some short haul stuff just to kind of just to pay the bills basically um, I'm not out here killing it but I mean I could be making a lot more money but um, just the traffic and everything there's this it, everything's a lot closer together so, you know the cities uh, the, ro the roads are falling apart so I just beat you to death um, so it is not something I would continue yeah I can be home and I could probably still make you know a couple thousand dollars a week after expenses and basically be home every sometimes daily or every other day for the most part um, but but mentally for me it just don't work I don't, I don't like that having to be somewhere to pick something up in the morning then I got to be somewhere the next day um, it just you compound that with with the with the just the business of driving um, and having I just don't like that of always having something to do I don't like that feeling like something's always hanging over you like this load just went and picked up you know now I got to I'm worried I got to deliver tomorrow at 5:30 then I got two more stops on Tuesday up in Michigan so it's like always something's always on your mind I like those nice long runs where you you might have an extra day and if you want to start a couple hours later or or whatever or stop somewhere stop shorter or whatever you want to do you got that flexibility to where it's it's kind of like you a lot more freedom I guess you could say and it, it takes a lot of that that pressure and stress off of you of dealing with just all the the basic driving stuff out here on the road so so long haul has been like what's worked for me and kept me sane and I've made good money and like I said now my wife's parents there my wife's from China as most of you probably know and her parents have been here helping us out with with our kids um, my wife's sister's about ready to have her a child back in China so we're losing her parents here shortly so it's been kind of a, a scrambling to find something else that'll work um, you know because my wife's gonna need me home every basically daily um, and I guess as I said I just explained the local thing don't really don't really jive for me you know I just uh, I'm just not interested in doing it um, and as I explained in some of the prior videos in this business um, you always need to have a plan B because um, you, you never know what's gonna happen I mean you can get in a bad wreck uh, you can get hurt you, you can you know lose your CDL legal troubles um, there's there's a hundred different ways that you could be forced out of this business even if you don't want to even if you want to stay in um, so it's always good to have something else as a backup because with with all the regulations uh, health problems um, and like I said legal troubles I mean family situations um, you never know when this could end for you so it's always good to have something you know a plan B or C um, 
so I was looking at different options. I was looking at just farming full time. Um, there's not a whole lot of money in that, and it's a, a huge investment. I've, in, I've invested tens of thousands of dollars into what we have now, and we still haven't actually made any money yet. I mean, on on paper. So um, so that's one thing. I mean, I, that's I'm going to keep that thing going and keep growing that, um, but it, it won't pay the bills. I mean, YouTube's been good for us. We started about a year, a little over a year last. So that's about a year, year and three months ago, I guess, yeah. roughly. And um, and we are a monetized channel, so we do get uh, from the ads, we get some a commission, some money for that. Uh, I mean, it's not enough. It's decent, but it's not enough to pay the bills. Um, but it, but it, on top of, I mean, YouTube has really opened up my horizons, I think, um, and and given me opened up a lot of the doors. Um, yeah, I get a little bit of income from YouTube. Um, that helps. And, but it, I think more, I have really kind of found out like what I actually want to do, you know. I mean, I was, a, I was a professional mechanic for a long time. I was in the Navy for almost 10 years in the CBs as a heavy equipment construction mechanic. Got out as a uh, construction mechanic first class, E6. Um, I stayed in there for almost 10 years after I got out. I moved up to this area. I went to work for Ohio Caterpillar Power Systems. Uh, worked for them for a while. Then I um, went to work for a railroad contractor, uh, Railworks Track Services. Uh, went all over the Northeast, up in Maine, all working on railroad equipment and all that. Um, then, then I worked for Manitowoc Cranes, uh, Hayden Murphy Equipment up in, um, in Minneapolis area. Uh, went up there for about a year and worked on Manitowoc Grove Cranes and all that. Went to a lot of factory schools. So I have, uh, and on top, of, even before the Navy, I went to a uh, two year uh, Votech for diesel heavy equipment too. So I have, um, even though some of my videos may look like it, I'm not just, I've actually been trained, you know, on a lot of stuff that I do. I'm not just a shade tree mechanic that just, uh, you know, just, I decided I'm just going to start fixing stuff. And now I've, it's, I've had about almost a 20, 15, 20 year career in, and with a lot of training and all that, um, a lot of Navy schools I went to, um, in my A school when I went, first came in, I graduated first in my A school class, uh, I was in skills, USA VICA in, in a vocational school, um, one first in the district twice. Uh, I got fourth place in the state of Indiana in 2002. Um, so I've, I've been around a little bit. Um, I, I really, I got out of it. Uh, I just got tired of working in shops and dealing with other people and, and all the politics and just going to the same place every day and doing the same thing. And, and that's why I, I had a CDL already. And I, I said, well, I'm, I'm just, I was just tired of working in, I mean, you go into some of these shops, I mean, you have to buy your own tools. And in some cases, uh, I've, I've got over $50,000 of tools. And you, you roll your toolbox and tools and everything else into one of these shops and they want to pay 18, 20 bucks an hour. So it just, uh, it just don't make sense. And they're like, oh, well, you'll, you'll make your money on the overtime. And I, I don't want to work 60, 70 hours a week just to, just to make, you know, what I should be making anyways, you know, in a 40 hour week. So. Um, I was just disgusted with it really and decided I would try out trucking. I uh, started as a, came into Snyder as an a experience. <laughs> um, I didn't have to go, I never had to go with a train or anything. I got my CDL when I was in the Navy. Um, so came in as an experienced driver at Snyder. I drove for them for, I don't know, six months or something. Then I went over to YRC Freight and I drove with them for a little while. Then after that, um, those two company driver experiences, I decided to, um, to go owner operator and I went to, you know, I've talked about SFI trucks and Snyder. Um, I went on with them, started there. Then um, went to Landstar the first time for about a year and a half. Then I left and went to Mercer for about six months and didn't like that. And then, um, then I came back to, Mer to Landstar and we've been back here for about a year and a half again. So now, so, but um, uh, trucking has been good to me. And like I said, with the, the it's kind of opened up you kind of get the other side. If you're a mechanic, you don't really understand, especially if you're a truck mechanic. I don't think a lot of the mechanics actually understand what, what the biz, what the guys go through out here on the road as far as what downtime means and, and waiting for repairs and not getting stuff fixed. I mean, it, it really it puts a lot of people out of business. Um, so I'm, I'm glad I got that experience on the other side of it and that perspective. Um, you know, so going into my new business, I mean, I know where you're coming from. You know, when you're sitting on the side of the road or you're broke down and you're you got a load on and, and all that good, bad, good or bad stuff. So, um, so I'm I'm grateful for the opportunities, you know, that I've been given. Like I said, with with the trucking, kind of learning that. Going all, I've been everywhere. I mean, 
I've been all the way across Canada. I mean, been all all 48 states down here in, in the continental uh, U.S. So had a lot of fun, and it's it's been a love hate relationship. I mean, I love being out there on the road, like out in North Dakota, Montana, Wyoming, out there, and running 75 mile an hour, just hammering down in the middle of the night, nobody around. And um, then you know you finish up the day, and it's just it's a good feeling. But then there's other days where <laughs> it's the worst day of your life. <laughs> So, but uh, it's, it's yeah, we made made a lot of money, had a, had a good time, and I learned a lot of stuff. So, um, so that that's two parts of it, I guess, why I'm leaving. I guess the the last part of it is this. Um, I've talked, I did a whole video on this a long time ago, or probably close to a year ago. Uh, the people on the road these days, it is just getting terrible out here. I mean, it, it, I don't know what's wrong. I mean, and there's so many people on the road, like in the middle of the day, and you just wonder, like, does anybody work? I mean, where's everybody going? I mean, it just it doesn't make sense. And, and with the pandemic, pandemic, whatever going on, with all that, um, it seems it's gotten a lot worse in the last year. I mean, you think, I mean, when people were staying at home and all that initially, like in you know, March, April, May and, and, and all that stuff, last year, 2020, um, you know, it just seemed like traffic was, it wasn't too bad, but in, in about the last six months, it's just like, there's so many people on the road and they're so aggressive and, and just and aggressive and passive aggressive. And, and, um, and quite honestly, I'm, I'm just out of patience for people. I mean, I just don't, um, I don't have the temperament for it anymore with dealing with these people because I just don't know why people have to act the way they do out here. I'm just out here trying to get where I got to go. Then you got people, they want to cut you off. Then they, you go to pass them, they want to speed up and they get in front of you and slow down. And it's just, I've had so many bad, nasty experiences with people out here on the road and it, and you could be having a great day and all it takes is one of those cases like that, that this, it just takes, it, it just ruins your whole day. And, and I've just had enough. I'm, I'm just tired of hating people that I don't know. Um, and you'll never, you'll never talk to them. And, and it's, there's, there's no like ask, asking why, why are you acting like this? I mean, um, I, I just don't, I'm just out of patience for people out here anymore. So and that's, and when you get to that point, it's time to move on before, before something nasty happens, you know, with a road rate in incident or something like that. So, um, so that's pretty much uh, everything in a large nutshell, I guess, of what's going on. So we're starting the new maintenance business, and um, I'm still like on the fence what I'm going to do with the truck. Either going to put somebody else in it or sell it. So um, I, I would just putting out another. We just put out another video on that topic. Um, where I was kind of asking for some feedback from other people that might know because it's new experience for me. Um, so as, as far as putting somebody in a truck. Um, how that kind of works out for other people so just kind of curious how that works out so but um that's pretty much it so i don't know you had something no. some stuff to say or no no just uh just want to say thank you for all the subscribers the viewers um your support in the past year uh it's definitely a, a different journey for, for ryan and also for me he's the it's, it's like a I'm the director. And yeah, I, I, she's the person <laughs> behind the scenes. She's the one. I don't. I don't do none of the. I just shoot the videos and I send it to her, and, and she's the one who handles all the YouTube stuff. I mean, I just do the videos. So all the rest of the editing, uh, the promoting, and all the the ins and outs, uh, all the secrets of YouTube. She's the one that handles all that. So and um, yeah. I'm not a big social media person. I mean, I, I'm not. Um, not a Facebooker or Twitter, and I'm just not into that stuff. So, I'm not, and I've really never. I like talking to people. I'd rather talk to people face to face, or talk to people. I'm not even a big texter, really. I'd rather just talk to people on the on the phone versus texting and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, she usually like when you do the comments, she'll call me and we'll go over. She types all the comments and stuff and whatever I tell her to say. So, um, so she's the one that takes care of all that stuff. So, yeah, well. Yeah, just just uh, appreciate all your support in the in the past year. It's really uh, you know go open up a lot of opportunities for us, and uh, you know uh, it it just this great great experience with YouTube and uh, knowing you guys. Um, yeah, I think that that's it, and we'll continue to work hard uh, to to provide all the useful information 
to you guys as you, a lot of uh, uh, great comments and says Ryan is just a simplicity, uh, simple person to share the right experience, the real experience. Yes, we, we will continue to do that. We'll never become somebody like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We'll, we'll We're never... just, I'm just an old, you know, farmer, country boy. I mean, I'm this, this is my life. I mean, I'll, I'll always have tractors and farm ground and chickens and everything else. That's just who I am. I'm mean, not looking to, I don't need a million dollar house and <laughs> maybe she does, but. Uh, well, well that, that's a different story <laughs> we talked about. <laughs> All right, that, 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 that'll be, you know, in our, our, our radio and, uh, yeah. All right. Now to you. So, uh, that's pretty much it for this one, guys. Uh, again, uh, we appreciate all the support and everything. So, um, like I said, subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the bell for the updates. Like the video. Um, like I said, we do the best we can and put your comments, questions. Uh, we do our best we can uh, to keep up on those. I know sometimes we get behind and all that and stuff goes through the cracks and doesn't get answered. So, uh, our apologies for any of that type of stuff. But, um, you know, especially summertime, we're really busy. We just got so many things with the farm stuff and trucking and maintenance business and kids and everything it just gets in the summertime it's extremely busy that's why I, I was doing a couple of videos a week and now I'm, I'm lucky to get one out a week uh, with with everything going on so but if uh, also if you guys are interested in the farm and stuff uh, we moved that to another channel which some of you might know or not know um, we always put the uh, link for that as well if you're interested in older tractors and uh, farm animals all that good stuff so a lot of stuff going on over there or will be going on here shortly so um, but yeah on this channel you know we're trucking stuff, uh, maintenance. I mean, with the, with the new maintenance business, we might change our format a little bit, how we're, because um, obviously when I go out on a, on a job, I'm gonna be charging somebody by the hour. So, I mean, it's gonna be a little bit different. I'm not gonna be able to do like step by step, um, but we'll have a lot of good information and stuff like that out there as far as when we go up, come up on a problem, um, we're gonna give the problem and go through what we do to, to remedy problems and stuff like that, so. But um, that's pretty much it. Again, uh, we appreciate everything. Uh, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.